On recently making a video about exporting full-size images from Adobe Lightroom, I discovered that there is an issue when it comes to exporting images. It only exports images at about 240 or 250 PPI. And people have been asking, is this reducing my image or why can't I export it at 300 DPI? I've created this video basically as an answer to some of these issues and hopefully this will clear things up. Right, so I'm back inside Adobe Lightroom CC and I think there's two ways to investigate this exporting images and it being like 250, 240 PPI. I'm just going to export this image in the top left hand side. I'm going to follow the same instructions that I gave him in the video. So I'm going to go to this share icon and we're going to go to custom settings and we've got JPEG, full size, quality 100% and I'm just going to export that. And now I'm going to export the same image again so I'm going to go to original plus settings and I'm going to export again that into my Lightroom. So image one, which were exported first, this is the one which was the JPEG with the full sort of settings on there. As you can see, it's got the same sort of colors. I'm just going to get rid of preview. The next one is obviously looking discolored. This is what uh, happens when you're exporting raw images. It doesn't sort of keep the sort of settings added to it when you're looking at preview. So let's just open both images. So let's open the first image, which is the full size image or full size image according to Lightroom. Open that. So there we have our full size image. Now in image and image size, it's reduced the resolution down to 240 pixels per inch. Now let's go into the other image. And when I've come to open this image, it's kept some of the raw editing capabilities. So when I do the export um, plus settings, I believe it's exporting as a, like a JPEG raw. I'm just going to click open and that's opened the original image plus the settings. Inside image and image size, as you can see, the resolution is 300 dots per inch. But the width of the image is 27 0.64. Let's go into the other image. Image size. Now it's 240, but the actual width and height are bigger. So depending if you've got this resampling ticked or not, if you can go into, I think it's unticked, you go 300. And as you can see, it then changes it to the exact same width and height as the other image. So if you wanted to, you could actually just go through and resample it and press OK. And now you've got two of the exactly the same size images at exactly the same size resolution. I had a look on some forums to try and answer this question about this Lightroom export at 240 PPI. And a lot of people were saying like PPI is irrelevant and it doesn't really matter. Well, depending if you're printing a document, then it is kind of relevant. As long as you're printing a document, you should be doing it at 300 dots per inch. But if the image is bigger, uh, but the resolution is smaller, it's kind of relative. So in a way, it is kind of irrelevant, but I like to use a standard of 300 dots per inch, and a lot of other people who's got a print background may be looking to do the same. So hopefully that's cleared up the Lightroom 240, 250 PPI export issue. It is actually the same size image, it's just you may need to resample it, and if you did send it to print, it should be the exact same size. Hope you got something out of that video, guys. If you did, hit like, consider subscribing to the channel, and I will see you in another video. Thanks for watching.